I'm Kyle McCarthy, and I did my sports production segment presentation on golf and club management. Golf courses and the country clubs are significant sports attractions in the United States. During the last quarter of the 20th century, the growth in the number of golfers increased at a faster rate than the growth of the nation's population. The game of golf organized with the Scottish players and founders of the Royal and Ancient Golfers Golf Club of St. Andrews in Scotland, um, the country club of Brooklyn, located near Boston, Massachusetts, is considered to be the first country club in the United States, founded in 1882. Country clubs today are basically organized and structured either according to public role and function or as private, or as private club. Membership of these clubs varies depending on the public or private nature of the club itself. The type of ownership of these country clubs also vary from a member-owned club called an equity club to a non-member-owned club called a non-equity. The type of ownership has implications as to whether a club is considered non-profit by the International Revenue Service. Within the golf club industry segment, there are a small number of larger firms who operate hundreds of golf courses. The largest segment, though, is the standalone single golf course operation. The club management field provides opportunities for career development and advances and advancements for those who choose to pursue the club management career path. Students interested in a career in club management should perform research and collect information on certification programs and various organizations associated with in this field, such as Club Manager Managers Association of America, students wishing to pursue a career in the golf side of the business as a golf professional may pursue a golf management degree as one of the 20 professional golf management programs located in various universities across the country. So my overview, golf is a major sporting attraction in the United States. Over in the last quarter of the 20th century, the last quarter of the 20th century, the number of golfers in the country has grown from 10 to over 30 million. And the game of golf was created in Scotland. There are two kinds of golf courses, public and private. There were more public courses than private courses in the United States until 1960. The first country club was created 120 years ago. It was created to satisfy the visions of wealthy individuals who wanted to express their wealthiness. Three fifths of the golf courses were built post World War I. The growth spread of the courses were slowed then again by World War II. From 2000 to 2008, 288 private clubs became public, 387 public clubs became private. These changes have a lot to do with the revenues, revenue issue involving individual clubs. The rules of sportsmanship were developed at Yale in, 18, in 1880. The country club of Brookline, considered the first country club in the country, had a major role in moving from the, within the laws of sportsmanship. Today, the country club in Brookline is also known for popularizing the game of golf. So there are two kinds of clubs in the golf industry. There's public and private. Public clubs are like any other business. Anyone is allowed to access their course. Um, it doesn't, they do not restrict the number of members, and they can advertise at will unlike private courses. Private courses are allowed to restrict members. New members must be accepted by the current members of the club. Um, there's a standard meeting place, and it is a place where commingling of social, recreational, or educational purposes occur. Member-owned clubs are called equity clubs, usually private and non-profit status, also known as 501c7 clubs. They receive tax breaks because these clubs are not for profit and it's ran by a board of directors. Non-member-owned clubs, called non-equity clubs, typically owned by an individual or group of individuals. They're taxed as a regular business and they have an advisory board that has no authority to alter policy. The final say is in the hands of the A challenging issue is the cl club complexity. Country clubs are ever-changing venues. Employees must be educated and dedicated. And they must be able to adapt 
to these ever-changing events in order to keep up with the organization. Um, uh, people may specialize in things such as food and beverage management, event management, sport and golf management, grounds and facility management, or club governance. The information given from the reading has opened a new door in the golf world that I was not fully aware of previously. It gives more options as to what jobs are available. If working in the golf course becomes an option of employment, then the information in this presentation has given a solid background as the information that's needed to be known to do well at your job. Thank you.